Now we start the second unit that is current electricity. In first unit we have read the charge at rest, the properties of the charge at rest, the electric field, electric potential, capacitor, all these things we have studied in first unit in which the charge remains stationary, that is electrostatic. When this charge starts flowing through a conductor, then what happens? Then it generates or it produces a current. Now we are going to study the flow of charge which is comes uh, which comes under the effect of current electricity. So first of all, we'll try to understand what is free and bound charges. पहले हम ये समझने की कोशिश करेंगे कि charge carriers, current carriers क्या होते हैं, जो charge current को carry करता है, जिससे current generate होता है, वो कौन सा charge होता है, उसको हम दो तरह से समझते हैं, one is the free and another is bound charges. Children, as we know, every substance is made of the small particle which is called atom, and that there is a structure of atom inside the central core region. We have protons and neutrons which is called nucleus. Positive charge and electrons revolve into the different circular orbits and the, these electrons are bound with their nucleus and these electrons are called bound charges. So electrons which are bound with the nucleus of an atom are called bound charges. But if some of the electrons get energy from the outermost orbit, orbits and these electrons get free from the atom and these electrons is known, uh, are known as free charges. And these electrons generally move inside the substance, but they are not capable to leave the surface of a substance. When you take the example of copper, suppose copper is in this form, there are two electrons which are um, free from the copper atom and the copper is changed into the copper ion. But these two free electrons are moving randomly inside the substance and these two electrons are not moving and away from the, this uh, substance. These two electrons do not leave the substance, right? This is case of one atom. We have a large number of atoms. So many atoms are there. So, so many free electrons are available and these electrons are in random motion. Suppose this is a copper conductor. Then this copper conductor is always in the form of copper ion and some free electrons at room temperature. The outermost orbit electrons just uh, absorb some energy and gets liberated as a result of which the electrons move inside the substance but these electrons will not just escape from the substance why because these copper ions will attract these electrons so due to this attractive force these electrons will move only inside this substance and that is randomly so abhi tak hum ye samajh aaya ki koi bhi free charge kya hota hai free charges hain jab atom se electrons free ho jate hain aur obviously wo outermost orbit ke electrons hi free honge kyon free honge inki energy sabse zyada hoti hai to yani ki inko small amount of energy required to liberate them aasani se inko alag kiya ja sakta hai very small amount of energy required especially in, in uh, conductors to jo conductors hote hain every conductor has some free electrons right and these free electrons move inside the substance randomly okay ye baat samajh aagi come to next that next is current carriers current carriers okay when the energy of these electrons is channelized in one particular direction then these electrons constitute the electric current and then these electrons are called current carriers current kiski wajah se generate hota hai the rate of flow of charge through any cross section then these electrons which are the free electrons can move inside the substance and can go under the uh, from one place to another place of the conductor under the effect of potential difference that's why it is uh, called current carrier and these electrons are called the current carriers so these electrons which are bound with the nucleus are not called current carriers because they will not play any role in the conduction of current but these free electrons will play the role of conduction in the current in a conductor that's why these are called current carriers so in conductor solid conductors free electrons are the current carriers so when we talk about the conductors conductors which conductors solid conductors just like metals the free electrons or rather now we can say electrons are current carriers in case of an electrolyte ions are current carrier ions are current carriers current carriers just like ammonium chloride nh4cl if we have nh4cl then it is splits into ammonium ions and chloride ions. The ions are responsible for the conduction. So in gases, generally gases are not just, uh, uh, gases do not conduct electricity or the ions through these, uh, through these. So generally we are talking about the current carriers in case of solid conductors, right? So this is about the current carriers. Now, next we come to, 
next we move on another topic this is emf which is called electromotive force electro motive force which is called emf electromotive force basically what is the meaning of electro electromotive force it is the maximum potential difference it is the maximum potential difference across terminals of a cell terminals of a cell in open circuit open circuit means when current is not drawn is not drawn from the cell from the cell so what is the meaning of electromotive force it is a kind of force whose motive is to move the electrons inside the conductor and it happens under the influence of the electric field which is set up by the potential difference and which is developed by a cell connected across the circuit तो कोई सर्किट होगा उसमें हम सेल लगाएंगे सेल की वजह से पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डेवलप होगा और उसकी वजह से जब कोई भी चार्ज को मूव कराता है तो जो एनर्जी होती है सेल की इसको हम ये भी कह सकते हैं इट इज द एनर्जी ऑफ अ सेल विच इज यूज टू मूव अ यूनिक पॉजिटिव चार्ज पॉजिटिव चार्ज around a closed circuit around the closed circuit or it is the work done by the source of emf by the cell to move a unit positive charge to move unit positive charge around a, in a, around a closed circuit so this is known as electromotive force and its formula is given by its formula is e is equal to integral e dot dl ये फॉर्मूला कहां से आया कैसे हमने डिराइव किया अभी हमने बताया ये फॉर्मूला किसके इक्वल है इलेक्ट्रो बेसिकली इट इज नॉट ए फोर्स बेसिकली इट प्ले द रोल ऑफ वर्क ठीक है इट इज द एनर्जी ऑफ ए सेल सेल की एक एनर्जी है जिसकी वजह से इलेक्ट्रॉन्स क्या करते हैं फ्लो करते हैं मूव करते हैं कंडक्टर के अंदर सर्किट के अंदर और उसी से हम जो यूनिट पॉजिटिव चार्ज का मोशन हम अगर कंसीडर करते हैं तो तब इतना जितना भी वर्क होगा दैट वर्क इज नॉन एज इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स राइट अब देखिए सपोज एफ इज द फोर्स and dl is the distance then how much work is done f dot dl and if this work is done around a closed path then you integrate it this is the work done w is equal to and when you convert in case of electric field then q not e into dl and what is q not now according this unit positive charge and if it is unit positive charge then it will become e dot dl so this is the formula of electromotive force राइट right? ये इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स का फॉर्मूला हो गया है इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स की डेफिनेशन होगी कैसे मेजर करते हैं अच्छा बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स है क्या चलिए इसको मैकेनिकल एनालॉगी बताते हैं इसकी मैकेनिकल एनालॉगी मैकेनिकल एनालॉगी ये है बच्चों सपोज एज ए टेबल एंड वी हैव सो मेनी बॉल्स ऑन दिस टेबल कैप्ट ऑन दिस टेबल एंड व्हेन सपोज सपोज वी पुट अ बॉल ओवर हियर द बॉल फॉल्स डाउन फिर यहां से द this person just lifts a ball here and put this log in the on the table ball here and then it again falls down so there is a continuous flow of the ball by this person and the same role is played by the cell same role is played by the cell and this cell is just to maintain the continuous flow of the charge through the circuit this is the meaning of electromotive force right and its formula is e dot d this is the formula and this is maximum terminal potential difference in open circuit why we are talking about the open circuit when current is not drawn from the cell agar aap dekhte hain jo dry cell hote hain jispe likha hota hai 1.5 volt basically this is emf of the cell wo emf hota hai cell ka so this is all about e and f now next is drift velocity is before drift velocity we take first electric current electric current what is electric current it is rate of flow of it is rate of flow of charge at any cross section any cross section of a conductor any cross section of a conductor it is rate of flow of charge 
through any cross section of a conductor that is known as electric current if Q charge is flowing flowing in time t in time t at any cross section let's consider any cross section of this conductor charge q is flowing in time t then electric current i is given by that is q upon t so this is the formula of electric current and if delta q charge flows in time delta t that is between T and T plus delta T through any cross section through any cross section of the conductor then I will be equal to it is delta Q upon delta T if this limit delta T tends to zero we have understood it in case of class 11th also so delta T tends to zero it's very close to zero then we can write is dq upon dt so this is another formula of electric current dq by dt other delta q charge delta t timing which in between t plus delta t and t flows through any cross section then current is given by this expression dq upon dt or q upon t suppose n number of electrons n number of electrons are passing passing through any cross section area in time p suppose this is a conductor in this conductor we have connected a cell number of electrons free electrons start moving inside it and these free electrons are just move in a one particular direction and suppose n number of electrons are moving in time t then q is equal to n into e so current i will become n e upon t this is another formula of electric current ये इलेक्ट्रिक करंट का नया फॉर्मूला हो गया तो फंडामेंटल फॉर्मूला क्या है चार्ज फ्लोइंग पर यूनिट टाइम इन डिफरेंशियल फॉर्म इट विल बिकम dq अपॉन dt एंड व्हेन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फ्लोइंग देन इट इज n e अपॉन t दिस इज ऑल अबाउट करंट एंड व्हाट इज इट्स si यूनिट si यूनिट इज कूलम पर सेकंड एंड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एंपियर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एंपियर एंड द सिंबल टू रिप्रेजेंट एंपियर इज कैपिटल a if you define one ampere if q is equal to one coulomb t is equal to one second from this expression then i will be equal to one ampere so what is one ampere current one ampere is the current in a conductor when one coulomb charge flows in one second through any cross section of the conductor so agar one coulomb charge one second mein flow karta hai kisi conductor mein se tab usme current kitna mana jayega the current will be 1 ampere other units are milli ampere micro ampere smaller units are also there so this is about the current right it is a scalar quantity this current is a scalar quantity scalar quantity is scalar quantity and its direction is its direction is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons its direction is direction is opposite to the flow of to the direction of flow of electrons it is in conventional direction conventional direction conventional direction right there is an electronic current electronic current this word electronic current is in the direction of flow of electrons but when we talk about the electric current that is in the direction opposite to the flow of electron that is in conventional direction why we are talking about the convention direction basically we always try to define any fundamental quantity in terms of positive charge just like electric field force experience per unit positive charge just like this electric current in moving a unit positive charge or unit full charge so that if a positive charge is allowed to move through the conductor then that should be the direction of the electric current but since positive charge in the form of protons are not moving inside this conductor only the electrons are moving and electrons are the negatively charged particles that's why the direction of electron is the direction of electric current is just opposite to that of flow of electrons right if it has direction it has magnitude then why is a scalar quantity to become a vector quantity the quantity must possess magnitude direction and should obey the laws of vectors so in case of steady current 
here it does not obey the law of vector that's why it is a scalar quantity so pehle hame samajh aa gaya ki current kya hota hai current se hum kya kon kon se current ke formula bante hain current ki direction kya hoti hai kisi bhi circuit mein agar hum koi circuit draw karte hain to usme current ki direction hoti hai hamesha positive terminal to negative terminal of the battery through the resistor or through the conductor kisi bhi conductor mein se jo current ki direction aap loge agar ye koi aapne cell liya यहां को ये रजिस्टर लगाया और इसमें अगर करंट की डायरेक्शन दिखानी है व्हेन टी के इज क्लोज देन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू नेगेटिव टर्मिनल दिस इज अ वे टू फ्लो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इन दिस कंडक्टर विद अ सिंबल ऑफ द रजिस्टर एंड इफ वी टेक इट कंडक्टर लाइक दिस सो वी कैन डिफाइन लाइक दिस दिस इज करंट टाइप्स ऑफ करंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट टाइप्स फर्स्ट स्टडी करंट और डायरेक्ट करेंट डायरेक्ट करेंट विच इज डीसी डीसी सो इट इज द करेंट हुज मैग्नीट्यूड रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट इट ये वो करेंट है जिसका मैग्नीट्यूड कॉन्स्टेंट रहता है हुज मैग्नीट्यूड डज नॉट चेंज दैट इज नॉन एज स्टडी करेंट और डायरेक्ट करेंट जितने भी आप सेल से बैटरी से करेंट ड्रॉ करते हैं वो सब कौन से वाले करेंट है स्टडी करेंट है डायरेक्ट करेंट है एंड इन दिस यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ओनली द स्टडी करेंट राइट अनदर करेंट इज वेरिंग करेंट वेरिंग करेंट इट इज द करेंट हुज मैग्नीट्यूड वेरीज विद टाइम it is the current whose magnitude varies with time if this is time and magnitude varies its magnitude varies with time that is known as varying current that just in case of a charging and discharging of a capacitor the current becomes varying current and third type of current is alternating current alternating current alternating current which is known as ac again करंट वेरीज विद टाइम बट इन स्पेसिफिक मैनर वट इज ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट ए सी इट इज द करेंट हुज मैग्नीट्यूड चेंजेज पीरियोडिक चेंजेज कंटिन्यूसली एंड हुज डायरेक्शन चेंजेज पीरियोडिकली क्या मतलब हुआ हुज मैग्नीट्यूड मैग्नीट्यूड चेंजेज पीरियोडिकली 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 मीन्स जस्ट लाइक इन ए वे फर्स्ट इट इनक्रीज बिकम्स मैक्सिमम डिक्रीज इज बिकम्स मिनिमम at this point become zero then maximum on other side then zero again same cycle is repeated this is t this is t by 2 this is zero this value is maximum theek on one side this is maximum on other side and from o to a to b to c to d that is known as one cycle so in this cycle magnitude is changing continuously with time and direction is changing magnitude changes continuously continuously and direction direction changes periodically this is direction continuously changing periodically and magnitude is changing continuously this is called alternating current this common unit fourth what is this ac generator hum lete hain wahan se isko generate karte hain kitna maximum current hoga kya average value hogi kya rms value hogi wo sab cheeze in this unit we are going to study only which current steady current and that or direct current ye abhi hame padhna hai so what is steady current or what is direct current we come to now Steady current or direct current. So this is all about the direction of current, right?